Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we'll continue with our Boto 3 course. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually interact with S3 using Boto 3, right? So in the last video, we covered EC2 and this video we'll be doing S3. And in next video, I'll be doing IAM, right? So that's how we're going to go. All right, so first thing, let's import Boto 3 and create a client. So I'll just call it C. Client. Uh, and we'll connect to our S3 service and rest of the things are going to be fetched from my AWS configure configs, right? So the region, the credentials and everything will come from there. All right, so now we have the client. Let's see what all methods are available to you. So if I just do DIR, Can see there are a bunch of methods which, which are there right so all right so let me see if we have a list bucket because i would actually want to list all the buckets right so list buckets list, bu list buckets is there so you can see list buckets right and let's call it without any parameter and this has actually returned me a JSON response uh, with all the names of my uh, buckets which are there in my account. So let's just filter this out. Let me just clear the screen and call list buckets again and see. I think what I can do here is I can do buckets, right? So this is actually returning me the name uh, of the buckets and some other metadata. So what I can do here as well is like for I in say, let's just copy this. See if we can just get the names of the bucket, right? And I would want I dot name or just print out. I dot name right and you can see so now I'm getting the names of all the buckets which I have so I have a few test buckets which I created all right so that's that's the first operation list buckets and this is how you can filter now let's I think see how to create a bucket probably yeah so C dot create bucket and I'm not sure what our arguments this one takes so let's just hit enter and it will actually tell you that you are missing an argument called bucket so you actually have to provide a bucket name right whatever you want to create if you go into the documentation uh, there are a bunch of method uh, parameters which you can pass actually to create bucket but uh, for this uh, example uh, i would just pass the bucket name All right so let me just clear the screen and in this i would say bucket equals to let's say uh what what should be the name of this bucket because test bucket i i assume there will be already a test bucket present somewhere because buckets name have to be unique so let's call it tarek boto 3 test bucket right and hit enter let's hope that all right so we got a 200 response so this is working so if we just want to make sure i'll just do this again and my bucket tarek voto 3 test bucket is there right great so we've seen how we can create a bucket now let's try and probably upload an object to a bucket right so um, first let me just do an import os and i think what i want is os dot uh what what do we want os dot something related to list 
uh, yeah let's do list dir okay so i mean as you can see i've just imported os because i wanted to see what all files are present in my current uh, directory so yeah we have a lot of python scripts which are present over here you can see right so we'll probably upload one of these files uh, to s3 my s3 bucket right so now let's say we do c dot so there's a method i believe called upload and file right and i think it takes a few uh, input parameters which are or probably let's just hit and see what we are missing so it takes three arguments file name bucket and key okay so for file name uh, let's say or let's do file name equals so I think there was a file called left shift.py so I'll just upload this one right comma bucket would be my bucket which I just created so I'll just scroll up and I'll fetch the name Tarek Porto 3 test bucket so I'll just fetch this and key would be again I can just keep it as left shift dot pi right and let's hit enter and we did not get any error so I'm assuming that uh, our object got uploaded and I can just do a describe operation uh, describe is not there what it should be did, 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 did describe is not there okay so uh, list bucket objects something like that yeah list objects is there okay so list objects and I'm going to use the version 2 of it objects underscore v2 and I think it will take a bucket name probably so I'll just give the bucket name and hit enter and it takes only one keyword argument okay so let's see what keyword argument it takes let's just call it without any argument bucket okay let me clear the screen again and let's call it bucket equals okay let's hit enter and I mean we can filter the response but if you see the key left shift dot pi which is present so we have uploaded this object right all right so next uh, operations we can see is probably download right all right so download op uh, download operation is very similar to upload operation so we'll just do c dot download file right so there's just one uh, method and this also takes the same things so bucket again would be oh, sorry I think I copied the wrong thing so we'll just copy the bucket name uh, key which we need to download is again going to be same so key would be equal to left shift dot by and the third uh, operation is file where if you can actually give a location you know, any specific location or I think you can just uh, simply do the current location right so for me I would say let's see file equals slash tmp so I'll download this in temp right and I'll call it hello.py let's see if that works or if we have made any errors so python will tell us actually boto3 will tell us uh now file got an unexpected argument okay so let me just do file name is the oh file name all right not file but file name yeah well, this should work Okay, so we didn't get any error this time. So I'll just do 
os dot list there and let's see in temp and we have hello.py you can see right so we gave it a, a destination and it has downloaded that file and if you would check the content of this file it would be same as left shift.py all right and the last operation probably is uh, describe so i mean you can do simply dot uh, uh, not describe sorry so if i do it there on c so there are a bunch of methods so let's see what else we can see because there is no describe method in s3 so probably we can see uh, delete op operation right so we haven't seen delete bucket uh, so we can look into that because if you see the list bucket uh, method is actually like a describe on ec2 that is why there is no describe method so if you simply do see i mean your list buckets it will actually give you all the information about buckets if you pass a name of the bucket in that function it will you will get for a specific uh, bucket but if you don't pass any parameters it will list all the buckets right so yeah so last operation is probably c dot delete bucket and let's see so delete bucket there are a bunch of delete operation you can delete bucket lifecycle metric configuration bucket policy replication tagging lot more stuff right and let's just run delete bucket and it would say that you have to give a bucket name so again i'll just grab the bucket name which is to, 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 to this one and we'll do c dot delete bucket bucket equals and we have an error it says that the bucket should be empty and that's that's actually the way s3 bucket works you have to have an empty bucket in order to delete it right so let's see if we have a delete object we have a delete object right and let's run it without any parameter so it requires bucket name and key so we'll do bucket equals this comma key equals left shift dot by and this has to be in quotes and we got 204 I think which is like the response we are looking for and now we try our delete bucket operation delete what error the bucket you try to delete is not empty hmm strange left shift ah oh, that's why I left shit and shit happens right so i got the key name wrong so let's just clear the screen and do this again and left shift shift left shift dot by not left shit <laughs> that's funny actually let's do try again uh I'm not sure if still what we want because I'm still getting 204. I'm not sure if we should get 200. But so again, let's try and delete the bucket and see if we get an error. And this time we don't get an error. That's nice. So we have actually successfully deleted the bucket. And let's do a list bucket. So C dot list bucket. I think it's just list buckets. And we'll get bucket. Buckets are doing something wrong today. Yeah, buckets. And if we look into, so our bucket is still there, right? So we are doing something wrong. Uh, so again, I'll just refer to the documentation, right? Our help suggest I'll be back in a second. 
Uh, sorry guys, I think I made a mistake. So my bucket name which I created was Tarek Porto 3 test, right? And I looked at this bucket which I created for another test, Porto 3 test, and I got confused. Our bucket is actually removed. I've just check checked my AWS console and bucket is not there. So I don't think so. We did anything wrong. We did everything correctly. It's just that we got, con I mean, I got confused uh, in the names of the bucket. Two very similar buckets. So I'll probably delete this bucket as well. Go to three test bucket for me. And so you can see, I mean, if the, if you see they have the same words, it's just that they're jumbled in a, a different order. <laughs> that's, that's funny actually. So yeah, so left shit and I uh, left shift and not left shit and the bucket name. So we got confused twice. But yeah, everything is working. So now we have, I mean, I've shown you all the major operations you'll probably use. Uh, upload, download, describe, uh, create and delete, right? So I hope you like the video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And thank you for watching.